Hey YouTube, how's it going? Uh, today I just uh, decided to do a little update with my uh, PCC animals, the two Suriname a pair that I have. Um, what you guys see here right now is uh, Adonis, my 2011 male. Um, he's been with me for almost a year now, 11 months, um, and he's doing great. Um, he's still kind of small compared to my female and obviously compared to my BCIs, but uh, BCCs definitely require a little bit different uh, feeding regimens and uh, a little different temp temperature control. Um, I realized about these BCCs, um, I don't know if it's just my pair or uh, and if other BCCs are the same, but um, through the people that I have talked to in the forums and whatnot, uh, they do tend to stay in their hotspot um, for a long time. Um, they do get active at night, but they, they stay in the hotspot for a much longer periods than the BCIs. So I have their temperature set in the hotspot around 86, and their cool spot is in the high 70s. Um, right now it's in winter time, so their cool side is about to 75, um, which tends to be fine. Some of the time it goes up a little bit higher. But um, their hotspot is at about 86, and this male um, eats every 14 days. He's gonna get, actually get bumped up to just uh, wean rats starting uh, his next feeding. So this is Adonis. He's, was, he was non-stop moving before, but he's pretty still now. Maybe he's he tired out a little bit. I really like the way this guy's, uh, uh, all of his saddles are connecting on the side. And he's got pretty, those um, medallions on his side. Laterals are pretty cool too. Beautiful animal, and this was the first BCC I got, um, and I definitely wanted to get a female, and which I, uh, which I'll show you in a bit, that I added to my collection about three months ago. So this guy came from Mark D'Amico, one of the very well-known breeders out there, and and he's doing great. And I think. Uh, any animals is important to deal with uh, reputable breeders, but you know the BCC stuff. Um, you really got to deal with somebody who's who's been in the industry for a long time. These guys are much harder to breed than regular BCIs, and he came from a very uh, small parent, so his mother was only uh, six and a half feet long. Um, I always ask for parents' pictures before I purchase anything, and and especially more in BCC stuff and so he's gonna probably stay pretty small i mean female's gonna get larger but even being a male i'm thinking he's gonna probably max out around i don't know five feet but i could be wrong time will tell come on then move around a little bit there you go buddy beautiful beautiful boy Um, I mean, he's still got some grays, but he's um, he lost a lot of grays. They tend to uh, stay in that silverish gray color when they're younger, which I tend to like a lot. But um, his mom turned out um, pretty golden yellow, um, so I'm hoping for it. that's gonna happen to him. So this is Adonis. Look at that tail. I'm not sure you tell. There you go. He does um, have much more vibrant red tail than the female that I have. Uh, the female definitely does beat him out in the the peak department, but both, regardless, beautiful animals. All right, I'm gonna get the uh, the female out. Here's the female. I named her Xena. Um, she went through a show with me about a month ago. She's been here three months and she's doing great. She's gonna. She stays in the same size tub you guys seeing here. This is a 28 quart that I uh, usually for, use for cleaning, and she's been staying in the same size tub a couple months. She will be upgrading to the 36 inch cage um, probably next week when I get the uh, nude cage come in. So, 
Here she is. See, you could tell her tail is more of a um, deeper red, more bloody. But and her 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 saddles are more of like a floating saddles, which is pretty damn cool. There she is. She, she's more speckled than um, Adonis, um, but she's, her peaks are much more refined and um, she's got a lot more pink on her side as well. <clears throat> Those peaks are just unreal. And she came from, uh, he's not a real uh, reputable breeder, but a good, uh, great breeder regardless. A guy named Skip that I know from the forum that I belong to. All he does is just PCC stuff. You'll find a lot of guys who are more into PCC. That's all they will keep. They actually don't, a lot of don't even consider the PCI stuff real animals, but everybody's got their own personal opinions. I'm gonna to try to put them next to each other to give you a size comparison. So to the right is the male and to the left is the female. So as you can see, the uh, Adonis, the male who's a year old, older than the female is only just slightly bigger. I'm gonna escape now. The female did come from a, a huge mom. Her, her mom was almost uh, over 10 feet. So I'm sure she's gonna, with the generic, she's gonna be a big girl. But you can see their tails together. So that's the female on top. With those awesome, awesome peaks on top of uh, Donna's uh, beautiful tail. Adonis is actually kind of in a, his dark phase right now, but beautiful regardless. All right, so that's just a small update on these uh, PCCs in my collection. I hope everyone's doing well, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.